everyone, welcome back to the Buff Bombshell Show. My name is Lauren Lotta, I am your host, and I'm with the amazing Emma Heinemann. Hi, how are you, Lauren? I'm good, Emma, how are you? I am really well. I am super, super excited for today. Yes. We've got such uh, a series of shows coming up. Mm-hmm. We do. Definitely. So today we're doing the figure review of the Olympia. We are. I'm so excited. So we've done the bikini review uh-huh. already, which, you know, the feedback has been really great. Yes. Um, a lot of the aspiring bikini girls or mm-hmm. the girls that have already competed. Um, I think everyone just found it. It just gave loads of insight and information, which is exactly what we want to give. So exactly, really helpful. Yes. And this is definitely more, um, I'd say, your category in terms of how you, you've obviously got your pro card and figure. Yeah. yeah. Um, you've trained in it, so yeah, you, you know all the fine details yes. when it comes to posing and yes. the body. <laughs> yeah. So we're really going to go into the depths of that. Um, we'll have a look at the presentation of the girls. We'll take a look at you know the difference between them physique wise, mm-hmm. and I think something that just really came to light in the last review was seeing the difference between first call out and fourth and what we've got to remember is all these girls are on stage because they're they're worthy of being on the olympia stage but Mm -hmm. there's still just such a vast um difference Mm -hmm. between your top six and you know your top 10 to 15 so um let's um let's let's dive in and have a look but first of all tell me what you have on the table here So I have shoes. (laughs) (laughs) So you guys, obviously you can see we've got some posing shoes Mm. over here. Um, These are our wonderful cocktail shoes. These are my personal favorites because if you're under five foot three, this one and a half inch platform is going to give you a lot of lift. Mm. And let's just put it that way. It's really helpful. So I actually, they're the only pair that I don't have (gasps) of the ones that I like. Um, And I actually think that the majority of the bikini girls and the figure girls wear this style now, like this style of platform Mm -hmm. and heel height. Um, Do you agree? I really like this one personally also just because um, obviously the platform is right there, Mm -hmm. but this little arch upwards with the shoe, it just helps you, um, for me anyway, it helps me to step on stage a little bit more. I don't know why because it's not just a flat shoe. I know that sounds really strange, but it does work. Mm -hmm. And also if you have wide feet or ex dancer feet Mm. or ex ballerina feet yes then this one is going to give you more um Ah. comfort Ah. if that makes sense okay so i definitely prefer those ones but definitely like you said with the figure and the bikini girls they're definitely favoring this Mm. kind of shoe a lot more especially with ifbb style yes absolutely i usually recommend um four shoes obviously people always say to me what kind of shoes should Mm -hmm. i get um and usually i would i would recommend a flatter sole when you're starting out but i think i agree like i really like the 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 curve at the front uh it's not too much mm. it's quite subtle <laughs> um because there is another pair i can't remember is it the lip the lip i don't like the lip huh that's mm. you know i think it's too much too much curve at the front i know what you mean you know I know what you mean because you don't want to be tripping over the front of the shoe on stage. Yeah, and also for me, from an aesthetic point, when when the when the toes curl up too much at the front in the lip, Ooh. it ruins the flow of the of the legs for me. Oh, I've never actually yeah. considered that before. Yeah, but these they're in between like the flat sole and the curve, so I definitely need to try a pair of these on. You know what we should do? We should go to your studio. Yes, and we should try this one on and the other do one. Do a shoe review. Yes, and then yes. sort of see what like see the different angles because I think that can also be really helpful. Mm. I think these will just be really flattering on the leg, and I think even the taller girls wear these also. Uh-huh. Because I I'm five eight and I was like oh I quite like to wear those. I think every girl should own a pair of platforms. <laughs> whether it's to step on stage, whether it's just to go out on a Friday yeah. when we're allowed to again, everyone should Definitely. have a platform. So there you go, you guys. That is a shoe <laughs> review for you guys. Make sure you get your platform shoes if you're competing in oh, figure yes. or bikini. Yes. <laughs> okay, so shall we dive into the figure girls? Absolutely. So this was such a juicy lineup. Oh my goodness. The girls were insane. Yep. Always gotta give a shout out to our girl Rhea Gale. Uh-huh. Right there on the left. Yes. 
And I think... Is this the first call out? So this is just oh, no, it's everyone the, stepping out yeah. on stage for the first time. This is time. not a call out, so it's just the comparisons. Yes. But look at those bikinis. Beautiful. Oh now the bikinis, they have a little bit more going on than the the bikini girls. And also, obviously, it's a it's a figure back. Now, what's quite interesting is that now some of the girls have gone for clear straps okay. across the lower back, so rear. And um, so that's what, one, two, three, and four have got clear straps, mm -hmm. um, which I think is actually quite a good idea because it doesn't interrupt the um, the back and, and oh. the size and the shape. So I think that's quite interesting. Um, I never would have noticed that until you had actually <laughs> pointed that out. And obviously the height of the bikinis, the higher they are, the better because it, it makes the waist look smaller and you see more detail through the legs as well. So the cut of the bikini is really, really important. Ooh. Oh, they're just like, do you know what they so remind me of? Pretty. Like Amazonian. <laughs> um, oh, they're just divine. Okay, this one over here, Andy Young, second from the right. Mm. She is definitely one of Wait for my the favorite in figure. Like, yeah. I just think she is so cool. She's like a little <laughs> Polly Pocket, yeah. but a very muscular one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The lats are insane. I mean, look at those lats and delts. Superb. Oh. And again, there were, I think there were um, 18 girls that stepped on stage in this category. Okay. And let's look at the shoes since we've just spoken about it. They're all in the platform. Yep. Every single mm -hmm. one. Mm-hmm. And it's in that, what is this, a, is it a one inch platform? So this is a one and a half inch ah, platform with okay. a five inch heel. Ah. Yeah, I really, I think they just give so much length on the leg. Yeah, except for the lady on the far right. She's very short and she's definitely got an extra bit of a uh, platform going on. Number six? Yes. Yeah. Oh, she turned around. <laughs> but Samantha Jering looks great too. The lady, the blonde mm -hmm. just here. <laughs> I love that guy. Notice how the girls, they're constantly smiling to the judges. They're always looking forward to presenting. There's never a moment when they switch off. Mm. And, and that's something that um, I'm always pointing out to clients in the studio. From the moment you step on stage, the moment you step off, you're always smiling, presenting, looking at your judges. Um, you just imagine you are on stage in a, in, in, in a show. You know, if you were a showgirl, you wouldn't switch on and off at any point, right? That is so true. I like that. Yes. And on to gluteys. Okay, from the <laughs> rear. So we'll let the we'll let all of the ladies do their um their first comparisons. I love it. And then we'll have a look at them in the call outs. Um Ooh. we've got Natalia on the end. Mm -hmm. Uh she always looks fantastic and obviously she's a favourite. Yeah. She's always um she's always in the top places, top threes. Goodness, so how then, long would how long realistically, if I say I want to do figure, okay, how long would it take for my body to grow? I'm not saying that I want to do figure, but I'm just sort of like trying to get an idea. Obviously, it, it varies from from athlete to athlete because oh. we're all different. Um, <laughs> I mean, from bikini, if you compare the bikini girls uh -huh. to the figure girls, I mean, in my opinion, for the average, you're maybe looking at a solid two three years wow to progress to that yeah wow i mean look at the difference look at the density the thickness the condition yeah. there is a lot more muscle going on um yeah but and like i said again it varies from every athlete because some athlete might naturally be able quicker. to grow and and put muscle on in the right places and add nice thick dense tissue mm -hmm. so it might take them less time so wow yeah so, so i think that's sydney all sydney of walking the... off stage there she's one of our favorites obviously yeah that, i think this is the end of the comparison yeah. round so i think would we have eye walks after this yes yeah. they're individuals which i cannot wait to see i know right I love the eye walks because it's really just an opportunity for the girls to showcase themselves, show their personality, their sass, present their strongest poses, yeah. which is really what the eye walk is about. I always say to people, um, you know, your, your eye walk is your opportunity to showcase your own interpretation oh. of the quarter turns. I love that. Yeah. 
Um, I love it. The walk is really important. And I really think at this level as well, I think when we see the first call out, mm -hmm. um, maybe compare it to the, the, the third call out, you really have an opportunity to see the, the different levels of stagecraft. Right. And at this day, at this level of competing, it's so, so important. Right. I guess like the one sort of move out of place, doesn't it? Just it does. She, I mean, she's a bit wobbly on, on her feet there, um, which, you know, really at this level, she's shaken a little bit. You, it, it detracts from the presentation. Mm -hmm. You have to really walk on stage and be confident, mm -hmm. proud um, and ready, right. you know? Um, but who knows? It could be, uh, uh, you can tell the difference already just in between those two athletes. Um, I think this is Anna Banks yeah. from Poland. I see what you mean. Like she is just a little bit more calmer. confident. Yeah, say. confident and calmer. Um, but if she's had more stage presentation, I love the walk that they do. It's just like so. It's very sexy. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it's very sexy. I feel like if, if they were an animal, what would they be? Maybe Ooh. like a jaguar or something, <laughs> you know? I get you. You know what I mean? Like they prowl. They prowl across the stage. <laughs> Lovely shape, yeah. Yes, she's really taking her time. Yeah, it's effortless, isn't it? Effortless. And I always say when you walk, no matter whether it is across the stage, down stage, away from the judges, always keep those glutes lifted. We never <laughs> ever want to see some softness in the glutes at all. So look at those quads. I know, those just came out with a they bang. Did. And it's really about as well in this category, um, finding the poses that really make your physique pop the best. Mm -hmm. And present your physique in line with the criteria the best as well. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean that all poses work mm -hmm. for each athlete. So it is very individual. So one of the things I kind of see a lot of time are the, is this lat flare over here. Mm -hmm. And I've obviously, I've subscribed to Emma's um, website and mm -hmm. you do give some free videos and online posing tutorials i do and yeah I think so there's a lot i've tried it myself just because you know like you got to try different you, styles okay you it's got bodybuilding to. i mean i'm even trying to learn some of the guys posing you got to it all it all adds to your <laughs> repertoire of posing so yeah. definitely i'd like to know what i'm talking about but See, that's the thing absolutely but no lat activation when yeah. people first start learning to pose and they want to get into the bodybuilding um the females usually struggle the most with the lat activation because right. it's just not something that is natural to us oh here's ria ria has that real walk as well okay she's done a different sort yeah, of front pose. this is what i'm saying like you can um pick the poses that really make your physique pop i love this transition I like how she crosses over with her yeah. feet. And I love her presentation of the arms here. It's like she lifts the arms out and over. And at the same time, you really get that visual of the lats popping. Mm -hmm. So it kind of goes from nothing to wow. <laughs> Impressive. From nothing to wings. Yes. Oh, I like that. Really as well. take the time here. Yeah. So you see the glutes and the adductors. Nice, and this presentation I really like on Rhea. Mm. She draws the lats out, it's really eye-catching. This, nice. I actually really like the clear straps too on the back of the bikini. Mm -hmm. Like you can just see more back detail. It's yeah. almost like it's so uh, It doesn't so nice. interrupt yeah. the, phys the physique at all. So it's really enjoyable to watch. Um, but yeah, so the lat activation, uh, it can be really hard to get your head around initially. <laughs> It just feels very alien, really alien. So yeah, I do a lot. Oh, that was a little switch and flick on. That was different. Oh, that but she, this, yeah, no, this isn't really allowed. I'm surprised that she did that on stage. It's a, in my- It's dramatic. In my <laughs> opinion, anything overhead should definitely not be done in figure because okay. it's not part of your compulsory or mandatory poses. Um, so I, I would be intrigued to know if she was given any feedback on that. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but they don't want to see a double bicep. I wonder if I she mean, got if I was, scored down because Yeah, of if I was sat judging that, I'd be cringing a little bit. Okay. Like, oh, 
all. There's the, especially with the Olympia and mm -hmm. the the Olympia, and also it's IFBB, so there is some things that are very not regimented but mm -hmm. uniformed. I get it. Like you have your criteria, and you yeah. kind of stick to it, and you don't. You don't want to stand out for the wrong, wrong reasons, reasons by Absolutely. doing something overhead yeah. with your hands. Yeah, Ooh. so the over, they're not required mm -hmm. in this category at all. So I'd say that's definitely a big no-no. Okay, so no <laughs> hands overhead. No, in no, no, guys. not from my opinion. But hey, who knows? The judge might, judges might have liked it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lovely. So when did you first start training for figure competitions? So I made the shift into figure. I uh, got my pro card in 2018. Mm -hmm. So I kind of mentally made the shift in about 2017. I competed in tone figure in a different federation mm -hmm. prior to that for three years. So by the time I got to the end of the three years, I really started to outgrow the category. Really? Yeah. So that was 2016. I took 17 off, but just continued training. Mm -hmm. And then um, in 2018, NPC and IFBB grew uh -huh. more. So there was a lot more um, shows in the UK. Yeah. Um, so there was more opportunity to compete with them. So I just thought, right, okay, let's go for it. <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, so 2017 started seriously training for, um, for figure, but the look is very different now. Okay. Um, and I've, I've said this before. I don't think the, the look that I won with mm -hmm. in 2018, I don't think that would win now. Wow. I'd have to be bigger and sharper. Wow. Yeah. More conditioned. Um, just goes to show just how much the categories can change even just uh, in a space of two years mm, you know because mm. that is quite something yeah and these the figure girls like they're superb I, I love the the shape so much I love mm -hmm. the category um, but I do think it is it has evolved quite right. a bit quite a bit do you think there's going to be a, a trend when it sort of comes back round and down again because yeah. it's going to get to a point like I feel like they can't get too much bigger. Otherwise, they're going to all just go into bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it's going uh, to for me at the moment. I think it's at the top end. I think they're going to have to maybe next year. It's going to have to soften down slightly right. again. Um, but saying that, you know, we're watching the review, but we know who won mm -hmm. and we know who the, the top five were. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't necessarily a case of the biggest and the hardest one. Mm -hmm. They're still looking for balance, symmetry, right. that really nice aesthetic, flowing physique, nothing too hard. Um, so it's just really about having the figure that brings all of those components together right? Um, and hits the criteria. Interesting. Mm. So this is Samantha Jering. Yeah, and she's a little bit softer than the other girls. Mm, I don't um, know if this is her first Olympia, is it? She's now working with Team Elite Physique in the US. Ah. Um, I know that much, but I do, like, from her placing, I know mm. she came in 16th, so I can see, obviously, from the first place to the first. Yeah. Like, she's, first to last. She's, she's a little bit soft compared to um, some of the other girls. Sugar. But you know, if it's her first yeah. first Olympia, you know she'll get there. Like it's she like fine, she's already yeah. there on stage, so yeah. she's just gonna like she's in the mix. And I think yeah. that's what sometimes we have to remember as well. You're absolutely not going to step on stage in your first Olympia <laughs> and be in in the top ten. Exactly. If you are in the top ten, that's just, you know phenomenal. Yeah. But you have to work your way up the ranks. I think it's like like a bit like Rhea. She was mm. um. In her first, she was what thirteenth, and now yeah. this year she came ninth. in ninth, ninth or seventh, not seventh. No, she came ninth. Yeah, she came ninth. Yeah. So she made top ten in exactly. the second one. So like, you just continuous improvement. Yeah, like keep on going. And I think with every show and every year and every season that you do, mm -hmm. you just perfect the figure, the presentation, yeah. the tan, the bikini, the hair, the makeup. 
you know? learn so much more at each show about what looks best for you yeah for you. the cut of the bikini you know oh. and you know sometimes you wobble on stage that happens oh, i know say about wobbling and my first ever show <laughs> i was literally shaking so bad on stage oh. you can't control it when once you start shaking you can't stop it's really hard <laughs> i'm laughing because i don't necessarily shake but my teeth chatter oh yeah there's that as well i know it sounds so weird but that is just something that's so odd i always say to the girls when you turn around to the back Bruce. relax your face like have it have a <laughs> stretch the mouth out because you have to smile constantly when you're facing the front but do you notice now how sometimes they have those photographers at the back and now they're taking photos from the backstage yeah. so if you relax your face and you do something awkward that is captured forever <laughs> you can't yeah relax. i'm not sure you want to be caught on camera like that oh she looks nice yeah like this nice one. presentation i like this walk in front how they cross really like, like oh, i can't just i don't know how to describe it it's almost like but, catwalk. Yes. Why well, do you say when when we're practicing the walk on stage and we're getting to that level of presentation, a lot of the girls struggle with the walk. Oh. Ah, how 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 do I walk <laughs> in heels and make it look you know well presented? And the first thing I do is if they feel awkward, I'm like, right, forget you're on stage. Mm -hmm. Just imagine you are. I don't know. You're walking across the dance floor Ooh. in a nightclub. Oh. And there's a man at the other side. Oh. <laughs> or a woman, whatever you're into. Um, and you like you just want to catch their attention. So don't think too much about the steps. Okay. But get the feel. Get the feel. Mm. I gotta yeah. work on that feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like her. She was like pretty nice. I like, I like her. her hair colour. Very different. I like the redhead. What do you think about this whole blondes and yeah. brunettes thing? Like, I've heard some people say that the judges prefer brunettes. Mm, I keep hearing this. But I just don't think that can be true. Maybe we that we should add this to our list of questions for the judges. I think so. Mm. I really want to get an opinion on that because yeah. there's something just really odd. I can't... Do you know, I think... You know, okay, she's so I think this kind of blonde is really nice. It's soft. There's nice tones uh -huh. through it. But sometimes I do think the hard blonde. The platinum. Yeah, I think it's just, it doesn't give a softness. of every, every element of your package on stage, the hair color, the tan, the mm -hmm. makeup, um, your complexion, your skin tone. It's got She's a insane, flow. She? She's insane. This is Natalia yeah. from Mexico. Yeah. I like that bracelet. <laughs> An eye for detail. <laughs> Oh, I, I like yeah, it's her. Really sparkly. She she does really really well. She got a beautiful physique. I'm not liking the walk on the end, but I liked everything before. Oh, I didn't mind it. A little bit of more sass and personality. This is different. Ooh, different. I mean, I'm not a fan fan of two um, the arms being too faffy and floaty <laughs> the ballet hands right? well it's like a teapot arm okay <laughs> oh yep do you know it's sometimes <laughs> it's just it's too much but you know when of, when you're when you have an eye for detail uh -huh. or when your background is dance and mm -hmm. you, to a very high level i really notice this kind of stuff right it's like when you don't that, point like, your I feet don't mind. that transition is nice that's pretty okay nice yeah so, you can see even there with the walk mm -hmm. and the the um the essence of it the feel the vibe mm -hmm. compared to maybe um like we pointed out ria's walk oh yeah really nice smooth elegant <gasps> and the bajana. bajana she's like pocket rocket she's mm. so cool she's one of my Sassy. favorites i gotta say she's one of my favorites she is the pocket rocket for sure Different kind of hair too. I yeah. never see this crimp on yeah. stage. I know that's really off I point. mean, again, it shouldn't really matter, but it does add to the overall look. Yeah. Um, I like her me, posing. Me, I love her bikini. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Um, but yeah, for me, the hair, it, it plays a part. Mm -hmm. So I probably would have went for a smoother, sleeker 
well, like style. straight or just yeah, like... just with a few waves in there. Oh, I like her walk Little as flick. well. Yeah, she's sassy. We like her. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go on to the first call out? Yes, please. So as I was saying, it's really great to see the difference between the first call out, the second and the third, because you can almost see the really clear differences between the level of the girls. Mm -hmm. um, and like we said, the figure, the condition, the, um, the balance, the symmetry, and then you can really start to look at the difference of the posing, the presentation, and the stagecraft as well. So let's have a look at this fantastic first call out. Wow. So this is your figure first call out. Mm. I do feel like because they're fewer competitors, they kind of gave them more time at pre-judging. Yes. Like the bikini, they were called on quite quickly. Yes. So we can clearly see that, you know, condition through mm. the quads is a crucial in this category and that's also why it's really important that the bikini pants sit really high on the waist mm. um obviously sydney is sydney's center there um you know she is really well balanced and mm. proportioned between the upper and the lower um she looks fantastic and she looks effortless as well she's not round and if you look at the top line her top line is um literally straight from one shoulder to the other Mm -hmm. um, we can see a wide top line across from the side as well. Um, but even those little moments in the transition, the switching on, it's seamless. You know, you don't see any moments where she switches off in any of these girls in this in this first call out. It's you know, very effortless. When you're dancing and there's like a syncopated beat, it's yeah. like she moves through that beat. Yes, the and syncopation, I yeah. Like she never stops flowing. Yeah, so it's like it's it's like the posing is never ending. Yes, even when she stood still, it's still alive. There's energy. It's not you know. Well, I also she's enjoy living. the way that she holds her her top carriage and like mm. her hands and stuff. I th I think that's really pretty. It's a nice flow. I think it's really important to make sure that the the arms mm -hmm. don't take away from the body. Okay. And I always say to athletes, really think about the arms just being an extension of the body. Ooh. So like oh. if there's second from the right, her oh, that sort of, me? her carriage is a bit Okay, so me. second from the right. So let's look at the girls from the back here. So um, for me, I would say that um, on the end, we've got Andy, Andy mm -hmm. Young. If she, although she is very, um, she's very upper body dominant, we know she's got fantastic lats. Mm -hmm. um, but I think if she just lifted through the spine more okay. and lengthened upwards, um, it might just give a little bit more um, length to to the figure, okay. you know? You see how Sydney looks like she's lifting mm -hmm. upwards. I always say when you're posing from the back, think about showing the judges a 3D top line. Okay. So by that, I mean, I want to see the front of the delts. Okay. You know what I mean? So do you mean on, so, so if you're rear, your side and your front, so yeah. you want to- So that means more. on the front delt, you need to arch up and backwards, oh like a dolphin. Goodness. So we see that 3D top line. You can see some of the girls, that they beautiful. look a bit flat compared to Sydney. Yes. So, for example, um, I think next to, um, is it Latoya that is next to Sydney? Uh, so Latoya is all the way on the end. Um, next to her, I think, is Natalia. Nadia? Nadia. Yes, it is Nadia. Right. Um, she's not lifting her rib cage up to the ceiling. Okay. And now you can see that her top line doesn't look as dense or impressive as Sydney's. So I can see, like you see, like Sydney is curving and Nadia is sort of straight, straight on to the stage. Yes. So if Nadia thought about leaning backwards slightly mm -hmm. through um, almost the sternum mm -hmm. and the rib cage, we'd get more of a thicker top line. Got it. And what would you suggest to girls to do that? Do they have to like, is it like a, a pull from here? You need to just almost think about the um, the upper part of the back. Mm -hmm. So probably from the, the ribs okay. upwards. Think about ever so slightly, just lifting and arching backwards, okay. but keeping the lats nice and wide. And think about the chest up to the ceiling. Up, okay. Yeah. When I used to, <laughs> my, one of my teachers used to say to me, because we used to do a lot of this kind of work in contemporary, oh, yeah. and she'd always say, think about fireworks coming off your chest. 
<laughs> so that's what I always think from the back. I like um, that. So yeah, but as we were saying about second on the right, she's a little bit hunched uh -huh. in the top line. The arms look not like, they don't look like they're a, a relaxed extension of the body. They're holding a little bit of tension. Mm. Um, and then the lower half, she's lacking as much detail and condition because she isn't creating tension through the hamstrings and glutes. Goodness. Yeah. Guys, if you're doing figure, you better get on she's it. She's got no connection through through the hamstrings and adductors where if you look across, uh, yeah. we can see that Nadia's got fantas fantastic um, mm -hmm. connection there. And also Natalia as mm -hmm. well. I can see. Fantastic. Obviously, that we've just paused them like mid mid pose. So, so I'm just gonna play now. Although she's yeah. yeah, she didn't give that presentation. And when you do that little transition there with the the, it's almost like a bit of a glute shot. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that you don't relax into the glutes. So the bottom part of the butt has a soft <laughs> line. We don't want that. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, we're gonna pause here. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, oh, <laughs> they've gone forward. So they're just moving everyone around. And even when you walk, you know, I would still, at this level, even though they're just changing over, I'd still be presenting towards the judges. I'd mm -hmm. still be smiling at them. I'd still walk with lifted glutes. Right, so keep the presentation on the yeah, whole time when you're on stage. I think it adds to your whole package. Um, I think the side pose, when we get next to, to the around to the next mm -hmm. side pose, let's pause it. Also that. take note of the lady on the far left pointing mm -hmm. herself into the center judge. I see. Little secret there. Because your head judge, you know, essentially they have the final say. So if you give them a more impressive pose, so let's pause, let's just a little bit more. Sorry. Perfect, hold. Lovely. Oh. So, oh, they're moving, don't oh. move. <laughs> so on the side pose, what I just really want to draw your attention to is the top line. So, and that is, when I talk about the top line, I mean the line from one shoulder to the other. So we always wanna make sure this is nice and straight directly across. Now, when you're in the side pose, a lot of athletes, they lose the back shoulder mm -hmm. and they lose the front lat. So it's really important now, you can see on Sydney, I can clearly see her back delt. When you say the back delt, so if I'm, if So this, that's her left one. If you were my front, so yeah. it would be this shoulder, that's yes. the back. Yes, and so that's your left shoulder, your front right? is this way. Yes. So they lose the back. Yeah, and that makes them lose width. Now, if you look at second from the end. Okay. Um, her shoulder's rounded. Okay. Her traps are over dominant in that side pose. I can see. So you don't want to, remember, you're still working towards an X frame even from the side. Mm -hmm. So you, the, the wider the top line is, the more shoulder that you showcase, the more of a taper you have down into the waist. And that's what they're really looking for. You can see perfectly that Sydney mm -hmm. has that front lap fully on display. Whereas some of the girls, they're not quite flaring it forwards to the judges or they're pulling the arm behind because they're trying to rotate. They're losing that V taper. Okay. Do you see that? I can see. Yeah. I, I have to say that's got to be quite a difficult rotation to do on the side because you've got to keep your bottom half mm. square on mm. to the side of the stage and then your top is sort of rotating. Yeah, that's but that it comes painful. with practice, you know? And it's, there is a few, there is a few posing secrets oh yeah you guys yes um that make this pose easier and there's also exercises that you can do for your thoracic mm. um and sometimes it's a case of um stretching and strengthening okay. certain areas to give you more rotation in this pose so you guys you have to contact emma if you want the posing tips if you want the <laughs> posing tips then you know where you gotta go are they on your website yeah on you can uh, instagram my website youtube to be honest i do put all of my posing tips out there i give them away for free exactly because i'm nice like that so but yes the side pose is the most complex pose to really nail because it's difficult i mean pause Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Um, yeah, it's Ooh. tricky. And th this style of posing is difficult as well because you're only, you only really get the four quarter turns to really get judged on. I mean, bikini's even harder because you only get front and back. Oof. Yeah, but this is why I think for this category, the, the side poses, they need to be perfect. Got it. But they take time to perfect. There's a lot going on in mm. those poses. 
I feel like with figure you can do slightly more with the front like you know you can have the one foot forward you know in that front for the pose. alternative poses when like, they do their eye walk yes just yes. when they're showcasing that yes. like it's so it's really pretty mm -hmm. Ooh, i love this style of posing i do too it's beautiful and there's um there's you know there's a real specific style to it especially for the ifbb the way they move the how they set up into each of the poses mm -hmm. how they walk the hair movements um i mm. think it's sensational and to make it look that elegant as well yes it's elegant. really really impressive and i also make a point as well in the front pose mm -hmm. the toes should not be separate if you look at the majority of the girls, the toes are touching. Okay. And I think um, it's really something that is specific to the figure category. So we don't want that. We always, we don't want the toes to be too turned out. So I have a question about the toes mm -hmm. and then leading up to the bottom half of the body. You know mm -hmm. how you were saying, okay, so toes are facing forward. Yeah. So with the quads, I kind of feel like they need to be turned out. Yes. So, but the rotation doesn't come from the feet. Uh -huh. So, for, for example, a, a ballet dancer, uh -huh. we you would get your turnout and your rotation. You'd rotate the toes out. Uh -huh. For this style of posing, you want to get the rotation from the top of the hip flexors. Ooh, so that rotation comes from your um, your hip flexors rotating outwards, and that's what shows the outer sweep, and that's what shows the detail. So if you turn the toes yeah. too much, it can create too much gap between the legs mm -hmm. and they look a little bit bowed. So um, that's um, second from on second in on the left. Natalia. Natalia, her toes are too turned out. So her legs, if you look at the rest of the girls, mm -hmm. there's too much gap between her, um, her knees and her calves. Got it. You see the difference? I can very much see the difference. Yeah. So yes. they're like the toes more facing forwards, but that rotation comes from hip flexors, knees and glutes. Oof. Yeah. Would you recommend people to do plies in order to <laughs> get that? You know what? I am dying to get some um, bodybuilders mm. in for bodybuilders ballet. I can teach You're it. already a ballet. Yeah, you can teach it. So you, yeah, you don't need to take part. You can lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no i love ballet i think yeah. it's um even with the hands it, it all comes into play yes. with bodybuilding too mm -hmm. just also the way that you carry yourself on stage i do think that there is a bit of an advantage if you've done some sort of gymnastics or ballet or even ice skating mm -hmm. i do think if you've come from those backgrounds mm -hmm. you kind of have more of a a better sort of Poise. awareness of your Poise, body as spatial well. awareness mm. um oh yeah it's definitely um Definitely, I can see okay. people needing that. This is our second call out. Yes. So, I mean. So they're switching rear. Yeah. And I guess as well, you know, in this category, um, there's no, once you, once you go pro, there's no heights. No. So it's tricky because you're being compared to people that have different proportions um so that can really <laughs> change how how the figure looks yes. and how and depending on who you're stood next to your physique is going to fare differently you know <laughs> yes like bajano where she's five foot two she's my height and then you've got ria a little bit taller and then the lady on the end i'm not quite sure what her name is, but she's she's quite tall yeah she is so <laughs> you know if you're taller you've got to carry more muscle Yikes. If you're shorter, you tend to have um, thicker, denser muscle bellies. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things that need to be considered. And I mean, for me here, Rio is just flawless. Like, her yeah. presentation is so nice and she looks so comfortable. I see what you mean with the toes and the quads mm. and the turnout there. Like, that was can, a perfect example, actually. Yeah. And you can just see in this lineup, you know... Rhea looks superb, as does um, the lady in the center, number 12. Um, wow. Yeah, they look spectacular. Yeah. I like Bojana's got like that harsh booty. Oh, and the lady on the end is turning inwards. That's your tip? Yes, turning in towards the judges. So that's good. Absolutely. 
and the slightly different foot placements on this um, on the side pose as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can place the front foot slightly further forwards. It just adds a little bit more flow to the lower half, but it is. Um, it depends from one athlete to another. So at this stage, you really have to fine tune the posing um, for your own physique. Oh, I feel like they're oh, going the wrong way. Which way? <laughs> Come back, girls. So Anna and Rhea have gone one way and yeah. the other girls went the other way. <laughs> I don't think they they went off gracefully. Yeah, this wasn't exactly. like Stuff like that, if you're unsure, you just have to do it with conviction. Yes, um, and I mean, if you've got to walk back across the other side of the stage, just smile at the judges. Good point. So if you walk the wrong way, smile, look them in the eye and yeah. do the I always say like, walk. if you mess up, do not show it on your face. Oh yeah. I know what you mean. You know, it's, and like I say again, so these girls here for me in this lineup, they're not as sharp through the lower half. Mm -hmm. They look, a, a, well, compared to the first call out, they look softer. Um, uh, the, the the presentation isn't quite as on point as the first call out um and there's there's not as much balance through the physique got it you know but if you saw these girls in their qualifier yeah. any one of them could have won their their show right. to have qualified for olympia you know um but it's just when you get to the olympia the levels are just so much further up there <laughs> <laughs> good luck <laughs> oh my gosh this is where as well i think in in that first call out um you your mm. genetics really play a huge part got it so even stuff like how wide your your collarbones are into the length of your torso the, the, how wide the hips are oh. it re, at that you're 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 the best of the best right on the olympia stage and genetics do play a big part in my opinion oh good lord mm. good luck <laughs> so i think that is all of the call outs for figure yes oh. so three call outs there and i think it's quite clear to distinctively see the difference between each of the call outs so definitely Definitely, and they've definitely given the figure girls a little bit more time, mm -hmm. um, just because there's fewer of them. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to see the end or? Um, see yeah, the... let's see the final. So this will be the top six. Top six. Yeah. Oh, is this the or is this the final? No, this is the fourth call out. Mm, so, although Andy Young is in ah, there. Ah, so this is a false call out. So this may be happening. There might be some ties or they might want to see some girls to see exactly where they want to place them. Okay. Because yeah. I know Anne came I in I think this six. is it, yeah. Because um, Andy Watts. came seventh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so they may be thinking, oh, who's going to take who's going to take sixth? So we've got Latoya Watts there as well. A second yeah. on the left. My... So Latoya did make the top six. Mm. So that's probably what they're deciding for. So sometimes that happens, you know, if they're unable to decide or if there's a slight tie, um, then they'll do another call out just to really make sure that they've made the right decision or or they Ooh. make the right decision, so. Got it. And I think all Andy is superb, yeah. but her lats are just a little bit- that, Yeah, makes her just a little bit out of balance, which at this level really makes a difference because that's what you're being judged on, mm. so. I'm sort of being a bit nitpicky, but I'll, I'll pause it on one of the side poses, but I've noticed some girls are posing with their chest a little bit forward and some are pose, like posing back mm -hmm. and then some pose straight up. Yeah. Is there a way to hit that side pose, not with the arms, but? Yeah, I think um, what you really need to focus on, obviously from one figure to the next, it's different. But mm -hmm. as I said before, I always apply an upside down triangle rule. Okay. So you have your top line, shoulder to shoulder, make sure both your shoulders can be seen. Mm -hmm. Make sure your front lat can be seen. Okay. Uh, and then you've got that nice taper down into the waist. So some people might need to lean forwards. I wouldn't generally say lean backwards because then you're usually twisting into the front lat. Uh, but I just really focus on, yeah. So you see here. It's like Natalia is more forward. She's leaning forwards, but she looks a bit trap dominant. Okay. And you can't see her front lat as much as you should. Right. Um, and then we've got Nadia. Mm -hmm. She is rounding in her shoulders. 
so they look flat. Okay. So there's not, you see Sydney's shoulders, they look capped. Mm -hmm. And that's the widest part of your top line. So the shoulder cap should be really, really present. Okay. You shouldn't be sacrificing any of the delts here. Um, and then also, um, the lady on the end, mm. number five, she's got nice delts. She's got a really nice lat taper, but she's just a little bit thicker in the waist. I can see. Yeah. Um, so then her taper doesn't look as impressive. Got it. Whereas um, Sydney, because she's got that really tight streamlined waist, the lat flows beautifully down. See mm -hmm. that upside? If I could draw a triangle on there right now. Like shoulders. Yeah. Down. Taper. Got exactly. it. Exactly. Yes. Upside down <laughs> triangles, everyone. <laughs> it's fascinating actually to like see this like stage by stage. It's mm. fascinating because I just... There's a lot that goes into it, and I don't think people always realize just how each pose. See now, Nadia is warming up now because yes. she's better this time round. But she could still lift that chest up more. And do you know what sometimes plays a huge part mm -mm. is the the placement of the hands. Uh -huh. So whether your hands are turned in or turned out, and also the tension, because if you're tense in the hands, <laughs> okay, yeah. it makes the shoulders tense. Okay, because it travels up the body. If I'm tense here, I'm probably going to be tight in the shoulders and in the lats as well because you're rounding inwards whereas I relax mm -hmm. the arms and extension of the body the shoulder and the lat opens up with ease so what advice do you give to somebody who has tense hands relax yourself give you a, give yourself a cue mm -hmm. every time you're finished in the pose soft hands soft hands and practicing lat activation Ooh. I've got a tip as well which maybe you can use on someone yeah or test it out but yeah. you get tissues hold them in between the thumbs of your fingers ah. like that's what we used to do in ballet and you just sort of hold them there ah so soft no tension just soft yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm. i might suggest that tissue tip tissue tip <laughs> <laughs> tissue tip 101 thanks miss debbie <laughs> no beautiful see natalia toes just two turned out yes she's losing that connection um i can see yeah so but again these are really really finer details uh which is the level of these ladies are at Mm. perfection okay you guys so we're gonna do shout outs and the first one is emma's shout out yes and we have liquid sunray so if you don't know about your stage tan you need to get to know <laughs> <laughs> and liquid sunrise is my pick okay. um I have always used Liquid Sunrise. Uh, I really love the tan. Uh, I think it just gives such a beautiful contrast tone. Uh, and I've always just had an excellent experience. And also the staff are delightful. They always take really great care of you. Um, and I think it's really important that people get the right tan to mm. match their their own personal skin tone um and a tan your tan plays such a huge part yes. in your your finished look on stage and if you get the tan wrong it can make such a massive difference um i mean i've watched shows where athletes have m placed lower because their tan was not how it should be mm. uh, and this is definitely for the all athletes male female but it's just really really important so make sure that you check out liquid sunrise you, you could they're available across the world so they have teams in all countries oh, I love it. um yeah they're superb i love them what tan have you used liquid sunrise before so i have never used liquid okay. but i have used pro tan ah. um that is sort of like my go-to self mm. tan and then I've obviously used some of the UK ladies yeah. at the various shows. Yeah, I used to um, I used to do my own tan when I first started, um, but then as po as competing became more and more popular, mm -hmm. the the tanning industry grew as well. Yes, um, and then I decided, you know what. They made it easier because people would come to the venue or they go to a hotel and mm -hmm. they'd spray everyone. It just takes the stress out of, it you does. know, competition day. And you want that day to be as smooth, as stress-free as possible. Yeah. So make sure you book your tan and also say, make sure you book your makeup and your hair because mm -hmm. it just takes the stress off. Definitely. I'm actually a little bit opposite on tan. Like I would rather prefer to do it myself. I just think it's uh, it's, it's stressful because you got to do all of the layers and uh, it's just. <laughs> I like to if I can pay to get something done for me, then I'm paying for it. 
yeah so once you know your show if um you get your tan book it early mm. get it done and then you are comfortable with it and yeah. that's that's liquid sun rays absolutely so that's awesome so make sure you go check them out you can get them instagram you can find them on their website uh but the, yeah they're, they're one of the most popular tanning companies yeah it looks like they've Plen- a lot of plenty people of pros Olympia. in there yeah yeah so that's pretty amazing you guys go give liquid sun rays a big follow yeah so lauren who is your <laughs> shout out today well seeing as how i've been talking about cookies all day <laughs> <laughs> mine is the cookie dealer uk oh um so actually interesting this was started by a bikini woman in the uk called bikini underscore fitness uk i don't mm-hmm. really know her full name oh. um but she started the company last year in june and they've grown to almost seven thousand well 7k followers and basically they just make ginormous oh. cookies you guys like, oh oh wow looks like they're doing pretty well because every time they oh. i go on the website they are out of stock um oh wow yeah they just <laughs> hey like... the cookie dealer uk send us some samples <laughs> and we will review them live on the show oh my gosh can you imagine a cookie review <laughs> Now we are talking. Oh are you down God. for that, Kaleem? Anything, you want to pass on away. Anything. <laughs> yes. Yes, Kaleem. I mean, we don't need cookies. help. I'll definitely have to get on the stair master. Oh my gosh. I know. They look insane. They're like this big. Oh, They're wow. They're like the size of my head. They're... That's amazing. Oh, muffins. Yeah. We definitely, we definitely need to get ourselves a little goodie bag yes, so please. we can do a review on the show absolutely that's a must okay you guys so that is going to happen <laughs> so you guys that is the cookie dealer and liquid sun rays please go follow them if you do not please go purchase something mm. and either wear it or eat it um, <laughs> so you know eat the cookies before the show day so or after the show day after the show day or just before you go on stage or in off season if you are allowed a meal always post legs yes yes absolutely feel your workout oh yes awesome so thank you for watching guys <laughs> there are two shout outs for today make sure you go check them out like share subscribe or follow yes thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye, bye.